Welcome to Teach Me Maths. I'm Jonathan X, and we're doing division. Now, division comes in two distinct branches. You've got your short division and your long division. So I've done two different videos here. There's one video for the short division, and then there's another video for the long division. Short division is when you're dividing by a single digit. So if you've got a number like 72, let's say, and you're dividing it by four, if the number you're dividing by, the four in this case, is a single digit, that's called short division. However, if you're dividing by a number that's got more than one digit, like the 25 here, then that's called long division. So that's how you can tell the two apart. Long division is a little bit harder than short division, but you do need to know how to do short division before you can do long division. So if you don't know how to divide at all, go and watch the short division video first, and then once you're happy with that, you can come on and try the long division. Just to give you an idea of what they look like, short division tends to look like that. Whereas long division, well actually there's two types that I'm going to show you in the long division video. There's the traditional long division method, which tends to look like that. Yes, there's quite a lot of it really. But there's also a, a shorter method where you effectively use short division to do the long division. It's a lot easier, I think, and it tends to look like that. A lot less going on there, I think, a lot better. Anyway, so those are your different types of division, your short and your long division. I should say, though, that times tables are going to be very important here. You need your times tables for all kinds of topics in maths, but particularly for division. If you don't know your times tables, you're going to find the division very difficult. Now, if you struggle learning your times tables, go and watch the times tables video, and I've given you a few tips in that video on how to really learn them to get your times tables to stick in your head so that you know them, and it will make a topic like long division here much easier. A lot of people ask me as a maths teacher, what's the point of whatever topic it is we're doing in maths, whether that's Pythagoras, algebra, or long division. Now I have to say, and maths teachers around the world are gonna hate me for saying this, but I think long division is completely pointless. I've no idea why we teach it. Now don't get me wrong, I think lots of topics in maths are really useful. You may not use all the different topics in maths on a regular basis, but there are people around the world who will use all these different topics. So engineers, for example, will use Pythagoras quite a lot. Physicists will use algebra. But long division? I don't know anybody who actually uses long division on a regular basis. If you ask me to divide two big numbers, I'd just get my calculator out and do it that way. And these days, all mobile phones have got calculators on them, so most people are walking around with a calculator in their pocket. It's just much easier to do it that way. So why have I done a video on long division? Good question. Well, if you need to know how to do long division, chances are it's because you need to pass a maths test. And we all have to pass maths tests at some point in our life. But there's a deeper issue here. As a maths teacher, why do I have to teach long division? Well, when it comes down to it, really, is because my government tells me I have to. They give all the maths teachers a list of the topics they have to teach in maths, and you just have to work through all of them. Those are the ones that are going to be on the exam because the government says so. So if you're getting frustrated with having to do long division and you don't see what the point is, don't complain to your maths teacher, complain to your government. They're the ones who are making the maths teachers teach all these subjects. I think there are lots of other topics that we don't teach in maths but are really important and would be really useful. Things like inflation. We never teach that. Most people don't have a good understanding of what inflation is, but I think that's really important. If we didn't have to spend our time teaching long division, you could spend your time on the more interesting topics like inflation. So there you go. You've got your short division. If you don't know how to do division at all, that's where you want to start. And then you can come on to your long division and hopefully pass that maths test. I'm Jonathan Nix, and you're watching Teach Me Maths. Mm -hmm.